And this just arrived from um, Japan. There we are. It's the Kenwood TS-130S. Another blast from the past. It's not that old really, I believe these ones were... Um, this needs a new blade. These ones were produced in the late 80s. Um, and uh, they were produced in high volumes, they were very popular. Hey, it's double boxed. That's a bonus, let me get this out. I was assured when I bought it come from a non-smoker, which is important to me. I think it arrived in one piece. Here we are. I hope the camera can focus that quickly. It's a Logitech webcam, by the way. It's the 922 model for those who are interested. Um, okay, it smells a little bit, you know, old. And uh, let me just inspect. Oh, look at this. Somebody believed it would be a good idea to add a cooling fan to the back. Um, I'm pretty sure that this radio was developed by highly skilled university educated engineers, but somebody decided, hey, let's attach a fan. Well, why not? That's amateur radio for you. Everybody is an expert. Um, the, the buttons are all clean. The front panel is clean. No scratches. The VFO runs freely. No dents at the bottom. Um, yep, so far so good. Even the screws on the side are all original and they appear to be untouched. You can tell if a screwdriver has been used on these screws. Um, the paint chips basically. And these ones appear to be... Okay, surprise, surprise. So hopefully this is a good one. Let's put it on the uh, on an antenna and uh, see well, if it switches on, first of all. Some uh, digital mode. Okay, there's no CW filter fitted. We are now in 40 meters. Okay, at least the receiver works and I'm going to test uh, the uh, transmitter later. Oh, and uh, in case you wonder about my layers, our heating packed up and uh, nobody in this industrial estate has any heating at the moment and we're waiting for an engineer. Might take a week or two. This uh, radio turned out to be another great find and uh, I've never seen one that is that clean to be honest. I've bought over the years, I just checked my records, I bought 24 of them and uh, um, many many of them had some some slight faults but this one appears to be working uh, just fine. Um, recommended if you get one, the uh, street value is around well 150 to 200 pounds from private, expect to pay 300 pounds from a dealer and it's worth every single penny and um, if it's boxed that's even better. Don't worry about small modifications like an added fan to the back. I mean, that doesn't make a difference to the performance of the transceiver. It will last you forever. And um, should something go wrong, it's still very easy to fit. The uh, parts are all commonly available. So uh, yeah, great. If you like this video, subscribe. If not, don't. And uh, I'll see you at the next one. Bye. Oh, where's that off button?
Huh.